Hi y'all, it's Charlene from the Crafty Art Shack and today we're here participating in another challenge and it is called Old Timey Crafting and today we're going to be making you three rustic farmhouse crafts. So let's get to the craft desk and get started. Let's go. All right you guys, here we go to the craft desk and this is DIY number one. You're going to need one of these little lanterns like comes from the Dollar Tree and they have them in red and this uh, tan color and you're going to need a mouse trap from the Dollar Tree and a petri dish. I picked up mine from the thrift store and then you're going to need some blinds like these that I used in this video. Now well, here we are at the craft desk. You're going to take your petri dish and you're going to cut a hole. You're going to take your little lantern and you're going to cut it apart with a utility knife and I used a soldering gun to cut the hole in my petri dish and that you need to be the same size as the bottom of your little lantern you just cut up into pieces. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the blinds and these are pieces that I've used for other projects. Now what I'm going to do is I'm measuring to see how wide my uh, blind is and I'm going to cut it right down the center and then after I do that, then I'm going to miter the edges of this. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my petri dish, make a hole in the top, and put my little mouse trap in there. And if you don't know how to do this and you need more details, there is another video that I have that shows that. And it's going to pop up here in the corner in just a second. Now the next thing you're going to need is some Mod Podge and a q-tip and you're going to want to spread this around on the inside of your ornament and you're going to want to uh, put your glitter in there now that is clear glitter that I got from Michaels the bottom of your lantern and you're going to glue it to the bottom of that petri dish where the hole is then you're going to glue your piece from the side of the lantern onto your petri dish and then you're going to glue your little frame that you made out of the blinds onto it. Now it didn't, I didn't get it on there where I needed it and it does peel off pretty easy and I do go back and put E6000 in between that and the petri dish to give it some support and then I just continue gluing it until I get all the pieces on. Then the next thing you're going to want to do is reinforce these edges and I put a little bit of glue there then I decided that I was going to put uh, some little triangles in the corners. Now you want to put this in your outer part of your corner because that's going to give that the most support and hold everything together. And then the next thing you're going to need to do is take and put your little mouse trap arm in there and if you go back to that video I was just referencing there I slow it down and show you now that's the top of my petri dish the bottom of my petri dish now I'm going to put the two together and glue it down now I did secure that little wire in there with some hot glue and then the next thing I'm going to do I turn it over and I'm going to add some little embellishments now these embellishments came off some of the sprigs from the Dollar Tree and then I'm going to add some little berries in there and then I went and got me a stick out of the yard and glued that on the bottom and I believe the Dollar Tree has some of those as well and then I put some glue across my little stick I don't know if I show it here and then I add some glitter now what I'm showing you here is I put some little pieces of magnets on the back and they needed to be lifted up so you could get past that on and off switch so I put a little piece of the mini blinds in there to lift it up. Today's old timing crafting is a video challenge hosted by Mama Mia's DIY, So Kate and Llama's Creations DIY. You guys go check them out and if and check out the ladies on the playlist. These are some awesome, talented people here participating in this challenge and go check them out. The playlist and all of the links to the host are in the description box below. Go check them out. You'll enjoy this. 
Okay, here we go with DIY number two. Now what you're gonna need for this one is a roll and pin, some Rust-Oleum linen white chalk paint, and some of that Cardinal, uh, Cardinal Crimson by Apple Barrel. And I'm gonna take my roll and pin, I've already sanded it, and I painted it with the white chalk paint and I took and printed out on my laser jet printer one of these little bakery emblems. Now I have made one of these in another video and um, this is kind of the similar way I did the other one. I have daughters and when one sees something they like, the other one wants it too. So I have to make another one. So I thought I'd bring y'all along for this little adventure. Now what I did here is I went around the emblem and I tore it on the edges to make it um, where it would blend in with my white chalk paint when I put it on. Then after I did that, I took and got it all ready to go. Then I painted my uh, handles on my rolling pin red because one of my daughter's uh, kitchens has red in it. She even has a red mixer. Now after I get both of my rolling pin uh, handles done, I go and put a little bit of Mod Podge down and I gently lay down my little bakery emblem that was printed out on tissue paper. And then I'm going to very carefully add a little bit at a time and then start laying it down a little bit at a time. Next thing I did is I added that Purple's Painter Painter's Tape and made me some red stripes. And I did the stripes a little different on this one. Then the next thing I did, after everything was dry, I went and sanded it down because I want it to look rustic. And I go through there, even with my utility knife, and scrape it up some more. And here you see me scraping it up with the utility knife. Then I'm going to take my little brush and brush it off, get all the dust off of it, and then I'm going to cover it in Mod Podge. Guys, yeah, this is going really good until here. I just put white paint on this, not Mod Podge. Oh my gosh, this is where things went astray. <laughs> Sorry about that. That is one of my alarms going off. And, and I even start spreading it out because I don't think nothing about it. And then when I'm going, why isn't this dry and clear? And oh my gosh. <laughs> so before it dried really good, I took a, a wet wipe and tried to wipe it all off so I didn't have to redo this one. It was a mess, you guys. It was a mess. Even, it, 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 every, I have one every video. I have something that I do. <laughs> okay, now I'm going, I've wiped it off and I'm going to go coat it with clear Mod Podge now that I've got it cleaned up enough. But actually it helped it look a little bit more rustic by doing it that way. Now I'm going to coat it and let it dry. Okay, you want to make sure you also coat your handles on these uh, rolling pin projects. And you guys, this turned out really cute even though I messed it up. I'd like to take this time to thank our subscribers for subscribing to our channel. We appreciate you very much. We love all the comments that you leave behind for us and to help us grow our channel. And we love you bunches. And here we go with DIY number three. Now for this DIY, you're going to need an 8x10 picture frame from the Dollar Tree. So now we're going to take our glass out of our 8x10 frame. I'm sorry about that, you guys. I was still letting this uh, rolling pin disaster project that turned out pretty good uh, dry right here. And I didn't realize I didn't have everything in the video. But I'm taking the glass out. Now I got this really big frame from the thrift store. It didn't have a glass in, the, in it. So I wanted to make sure I put one in it. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I want to make sure that these handles are going to fit. They have these little, uh, I got them at the ReStore because they got a whole bunch of them over there on clearance. And I'm making sure that they fit on the frame and that they're going to sit in there just right. Then what I did is I took a piece of tape and I put my frame, my taped it on there just like that. And then I took a little screw and I popped a little hole in that. Now I learned this trick when I was a manager at Kirkland's and then you take and lay it down on your frame where you want it to be. Now I'm just eyeballing this and I took my Sharpie marker and marked two spots. 
Now it's shiny enough that you'll be able to see it on your frame when you do this. And I did that for both sides. Now the next thing I'm going to do is take a drill bit, put a block down, and drill little holes, pilot holes, for my screws to go through. And here you see me doing another one. And you want to make sure that you choose a bit that's the same size as your screw. Now you're going to want to take some of that buffalo check pattern that vinyl that you get from the Dollar Tree. I rubbed out all the little wrinkles in it and what I'm going to do is lay my piece of glass on this and I'm going to trim it up to make sure that it fits the same size as the glass. Then what I did next is I took my design that I cut out and I got this design off of Etsy. I bought it in a package deal and I'm going to fold, I printed this off on my laser jet printer and I'm going to fold this piece of paper. Now I wanted to make this frame so that I could change this uh, tray so that I could change this out at any time. So now I'm going to put the buffalo check down and that down and that's going to be my piece. Now to hold everything in place, I'm going to take a piece of the scotch tape and I'm going to tape from the back to the front around onto the glass and it's not it's not going to matter if it's on the front of your glass because I'm going to show you how we're going to fix that in just a few minutes. Now the next thing I'm going to do is the little black cardboard thing that comes in the back I'm going to take off the little stand and all the little clips and the um, hinge there that holds that little stand on. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a piece of um, more of that buffalo check, checked um, vinyl and I'm going to cover this piece. Now you can omit this piece if you're going to finish the tray off the way I finally finished it off. Next thing I did is I gave the back of my frame because it was kind of scuffed up a fresh coat of the black chalk paint that came from the Dollar Tree. After I finished the back and it dried, I turned it over and I used my Rust-Oleum linen white chalk paint. Now this was already black, so I painted it, but I did not paint it with a real good coat of this white because I wanted it to, to continue to be rustic. And so then the next thing I did after I got that done, I took my sandpaper and I went around the edges of all the pieces that were standing up, uh, you know, the trim part. <laughs> and I sanded it to make it look rustic and you guys this turned out really cute. Then after I finished that I took out my gloss Mod Podge and I covered the whole top of this with the Mod Podge and let it dry. The next thing I did is I went and put my handles on. I put the screws in from the back side and brought them around. Now there's my piece that I'm going to put in there and so I flip it over and you guys my screws for the handles were too big so I had to go to Home Depot and get more screws for that and replace them um, but I don't think I show you that in the video now I put this piece in and I noticed that this didn't have the little things to hold the picture in so what I did is I took my little pieces from my mouse trap and I stuck them in there and I bent the little tabs down and stuck it in there and then I went and showed my husband uh, that was a that was that was not the thing to do. <laughs> well, I didn't go show my husband at first because I realized I didn't cut my tape off. Now that tape where you taped it from the front to the back is hanging over and it's showing inside of your frame. So you just take your utility knife and score the tape and then take it off, and it's that easy. And after I got done with that, I, my husband told me, no, nope, if you're going to make it so you can change it out, you got to fix the back of this. He says, you got to put a solid board across there. So that's what I did. I went and got a piece of board that was from another project that I wasn't using. And I took and drilled little pilot holes in this. I'm making my frame where I can hold it. I'm taking all of this out because it's not doing me any good. So I cut a piece of uh, a bag from Amazon that stuff came in and I put it in there to finish filling that out because he said it has to be filled out so that it, 
if you're going to use it as a tray. So then I took and screwed all my little screws down on all four corners. Now I did drill pilot holes for these screws and for the, um, yeah, in, in both the frame and that. And here it is. It's all finished. And oh my gosh, this is so cute. Now I did have to go to Home Depot and replace those screws. And I did, uh, go back and I will go back and paint the back of this before I give it away. I'll paint it black. And again, you guys go check out these channels, Mama Mia's DIY, So Kate and Llama's Creations DIY for hosting this video. I'd like to thank the least ladies and y'all go check out those ladies on the playlist too. And here is all the other places that you can find us on social media. And here's the final reveal. y'all we're back from the craft desk and these items turned out so cute we hope you enjoyed it check out those ladies on the playlist because they are doing some awesome work and you guys here's this last one i don't know if i showed you in the video or not but i added some epsom glue epsom salt and clear glitter on this to make it look like snow on the log you guys we had fun making these with you today we hope you join us for the next episode of the Crafty Art Shack. Subscribe. If you aren't subscribed, subscribe. It's free. And click that notification bell so you know when our next video goes up. And to all of our subscribers, thank you for subscribing and leaving your comments because we really appreciate every comment that you leave. And we will see you in the next video. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye. old tiny craft and videos or yeah not videos <laughs> yeah we've enjoyed working with our... <laughs> i messed up farmhouse crafts if you like those let's get on with the video yeah i messed it up again <laughs> hi y'all it's charlene from the crafty art sack and today we're pissed <laughs> <laughs> we will see you in the next video we'll see you later bye